In this video, I'm reviewing test kits Taylor K2005 and Taylor K2006 to measure basic chemicals in your swimming pool, such as free chlorine, pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness, and cyanuric acid. Both test kits are pretty identical, with almost the same reagents. The difference is in Taylor K2006 kit, for measuring chlorine there are DPD powder and fast DPD titrating reagent offered, and in Taylor K2005 kit it's two DPD reagents. Because of that there are two different comparators. The one in K2006 kit doesn't have chlorine and bromine matching color scale, because of the way how chlorine and bromine are getting measured. Not to get you confused, further in the video everywhere I'm gonna be using comparator from K2005 kit, because it got additional matching color scale, even when I don't need to use it. We start from liquid reagents from K2005 kit. You rinse and fill small comparator tube to 9 milliliters mark. You add 5 drops of R0001 and 5 drops of R0002 Cap it, swirl, and mix. Match the color with chart on the tube under CL mark. The number will tell you how much part per million of free chlorine you have in your pool. You must have not less than one part per million. If you have less, you need to add liquid chlorine. The ideal level is from 2 to 4 ppm and maximum is 5 or subject to debate. Now DPD powder from Taylor 2006 kit. There is two ways to record and do your testing. First is more accurate and second is more economical. For both we use big comparator tube. The more accurate way will require usage of more reagent, but based on manufacturer I talked to over the phone, this number will be the most precise. You fill big tube to 25 milliliters mark. Next, you add two dippers of your DPD powder. Based on manufacturer, it's not a problem if your scoop has little over of the powder, but the most important to have a slot in your scoop filled. Mix it up, it's gonna turn pink if liquid chlorine present. Then you add liquid reagent 0871, swirling and counting until color changes from pink to clear colorless. I needed 35 drops. To record number of free chlorine, you multiply 35 on 0.2 ppm and it will give you 7 ppm as the result. Second way is more economical. You filling up your tube to 10 milliliters mark. The same way you add two dippers of powder and swirl. Nothing changes with your next step and you add drops of reagent 0871, counting each until color of the water turns from pink to clear. This time the amount of drops you needed you multiply on 0.5 ppm, which gave me 7 ppm and is the same as a result from using 25 milliliters tube. pH has the most impact on properly balanced water and user comfort. Wash big tube in comparator and fill it all the way up to 44 milliliters mark. Add 5 drops of reagent R0004 cap and swirl to mix. Match the color with chart under pH column. Your ideal level should be 7.4-7.6 ppm. If it's lower, you need to add regular baking soda into your pool. If it's higher, you need to add muriatic acid. Wear the gloves dealing with muriatic acid. It's itching concrete, you don't want it on your skin. Little demonstration how pH is affected by you adding chemicals. Here is treated sample with pH being on 7.4 ppm level, matching corresponding color on comparator tube. I'm adding little bit of baking soda into the water in the tube, and the color changes to heavy bright pink with the meaning that 
pH was increased to 8 and above level. And here is another treated sample with pH being on 7.6 ppm level, matching corresponding color on comparator tube. We add in little muretic acid and you see how the color turns into light yellow, stating that pH level was dropped to 7 and lower ppm. Alkalinity is the measure of the ability of the water to resist changes in pH. To measure alkalinity, you need three reagents R007, 008, and 009. You fill up your big tube in comparator to 25 milliliters mark. First, you add two drops of R007. Swirl and mix. Then you add 5 drops of R0008 and swirl. Sample will turn green. Last step you add reagent 0009 dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop until color changes from green to red. In my case, I needed 11 drops. You multiply number of drops by 10, recording the result as ppm of total alkalinity, which is 110 ppm in my measurements. Your ideal number should be between 80 and 120 ppm. If it's too low, you add alkalinity increaser into your pool or skimmer If it's too high, you add muriatic acid. Calcium hardness is a calcium portion of total hardness, determining whether water is overly soft or hard. To measure, you need three reagents, R0010, 0011L, and 0012. You fill up tube in comparator to 25 milliliters mark and add 20 drops of R0010, swirl to mix. Next, you add 5 drops of R0011L, the sample will turn red. Last step is to add R0012 dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop until color changes from red to blue. In my case it was 17 drops and you need to multiply drops by 10 and record result as ppm of calcium hardness. The minimal level should be 150 ppm and ideal is from 200 to 400 ppm. If it's low level, including my case, add calcium hardness into your pool skimmer. Cyanuric acid is a stabilizer protecting chlorine. To measure, you need reagent R0013 and small plastic bottle which is called 9191 in the test kit. Fill the bottle to 7 milliliters mark. Then add R0013 to 14 milliliters mark. Cap and mix for 30 seconds. The mixture inside will turn cloudy. Slowly transfer it to small comparator tube until black dot on the bottom disappears. The perfect level of cyanuric acid should be 30-50 ppm. In my case, I filled entire tube all the way up and still could see black dot, which means my level of cyanuric acid is low. To increase, you need to add tablets directly into your pool skimmer and floating chlorinator.
I did that and remeasured in a couple of days doing the same steps. As you can see, now the black dot disappeared, but my reading is still a little lower than 30 ppm, where cyanuric acid should be. I'm on the right path though. These were main 5 water factors you always need to measure in your swimming pool if you treat it with chlorine and keep them on a leash. In the part 2 video I'll explain couple of more advanced measurements you can do with Taylor K2005 and 2006 kits and particular acid and base demand test and combined chlorine.